The Mother and Child Project book is so powerful because it has such a range of authors coming from so many different perspectives. Many of them are coming from faith perspectives, but others not. Um, but what they all share is a commitment to the health of mothers and ch uh, children around the world, and in particular to this issue of healthy timing and spacing of pregnancies. I've really come to see healthy timing and spacing of pregnancies as an important justice issue, uh, and one that of course has effects that are not only health effects, but also uh, effects in terms of the ability of, the, of families, of communities, even nations, to provide a better future to the next generation. It, it is a, an important issue. You know, we, we can't walk two feet in their shoes because we, we've got it all. I mean, we, you know, we have access to everything in this country. Um, but when you go to Haiti and you go to, you know, the outskirts and you see how people live and you see um, how they're raising their children and books like, you know, The Mother and Child Product, it, it awakens that inside of you to say, okay, um, I want to be a part of the solution. I want to be a part of this movement to save lives and to give um, a mother and a child a chance at, at living their lives in the best way possible. I was so moved by Melinda Gates when she spoke at an event in Nashville and she described being on a trip and talking to these women and coming home and being so moved by the memory of it that she would stand in her shower and weep and say, why is it that I'm standing in a tiled hot shower and this woman that I have had a conversation with has nothing at her disposal that I have. Caring for health means you care about life. It means you want to breathe into people the ability to live a life that not just survives but thrives. I think this book is important for people to read because it engages a conversation about the reality of these issues, but I also think that it, it, it's going to go straight to the heart of those that read it and, and hopefully spark something in them that this is a solvable problem. I believe people should read the book because I want them to be inspired in order to take action. And I think rather than bemoan the leading causes of death, I would love them to read the stories of these powerful women and the children, families, and communities they serve and really focus on the leading causes of life, find them, and go for them. I believe that as we are challenged, men, women, girls, children, we will be forced then, we'll never be the same, to respond and to not only be completed ourselves, to understand uh, how God values us, each one of us, but also to be challenged to help others around us. And with that completeness, with that fulfillment in our own uh, lives, in our own bodies, in our own communities, our world will be changed. <laughs>